How's it going everyone? John here. Welcome back to another Streamlabs OBS tutorial. If you're new to the channel, new to the series, be sure to go ahead and take a look at the channel as I've created a lot of different videos that teach you guys how to stream both on the technical side and the growth side. So today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to add in the streamer boss. This is a fun little thing you guys can have on your stream and it's a pretty cool thing to actually add in there to kind of bring in some engagement in um, interactive to your actual stream for your channel and everything. So how you set this up is you're gonna create your scene, you're gonna to go to the plus over by sources, and you're gonna be looking for the stream boss or streamer boss. So it looks something like this. And even though it says Twitch bits and stuff like that, now the streamer boss, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this in here. And what you're gonna see here is the actual boss here. So it's got its own like life right here and you can customize this however you want so what we're going to do here is we're going to set the goal and what you're going to do is you can restart or reset it so basically when you hit reset it's going to allow you to give it actual health and everything like that which you can change you can also do it to where it's fixed mode or you can do incremental so this one here it says that the boss will have additional health each time he is defeated so if you set it really low and then it will have additional health which you can set below here so if you want to set the actual health right there so now you got it set for a total and then current and then it's going to um, have that so that one's there and then overkill says that the boss health will change depending on how much damage is dealt on the killing blow excess damage multiplied by the multiplier will only or sorry will be the boss's new health for example if it has 150 damage with 100 health remaining and a set multiplier of three would be the result that the new boss having 150 health on spawn so you can set all that up too i usually just leave it at fixed so you can just give it a standard regular health and then once you have that set for how you want, then you can go ahead and hit the set stream boss health. But you can also manage the other settings for it too. So you can set it up to where it's got a different theme. So you can have it to where it's kind of futuristic theme looking, similar to that. Or you can do no image, which will be very, very simple. That way if you want to keep things kind of clean, you can do that. You can also keep it nice and slim. So that way you have something like that. I think this is pretty cool. I like this one. And then you also have the curved. So curved is going to be the one like this, the one I originally showed you. And you can kind of set up how you want it to be for the different types of damage setup. So like when someone follows, it does some damage. When someone uses bits on Twitch, it does some damage. And then same thing with subscribers and uh, dollar donations. Now, I don't know if this will ever work on Mixer. I know that this works on Twitch. But I don't know if it works on Mixer. If anyone else tries this on Mixer, please let me know. Um, and then for visual settings, you can also mess with all of the background colors and the fonts and everything like that. So very, very easy to get everything put together. And for the most part, usually what people do is just kind of leave it at its basic setup like this. And then they'll just go ahead and add it. And then they'll just do set right there. And then bam, now it's good to go. So... As you can see, what changed here was the name of the boss and the picture. So since you were the first one to set it up, it's going to be you as the streamer boss. When someone defeats it, whoever is the person who defeats the stream boss, then their image and their name will display here and they will have the health and everything based on however you had everything set up. And that's pretty much it. I mean, once you, once you have everything done, then click done. You can move it around, you can resize it if you need to by clicking the little tiny square in the corner there. And you know, you could set it up wherever you want on your stream and that's it. But yeah, if you guys have any other questions about the stream boss or any questions in general about streaming, be sure to go ahead and take a look at the channel. You can ask me in the comments and you can also talk to me in Discord or on Twitter or whenever I'm live. Then I appreciate you watching the video. Thank you so much and have a good rest of your day.